And so to me, that may be the bridge between the two things we've talked about, which is how do we make connection in a place, in a time and, and country where people are so divided? Yeah. Um, what are some things that we can be doing? You know, like how, do, how can we approach our work every day? How can we approach our clients? And how, what are the kinds of stories that we can um, tell and how do we tell them? That's the stuff that, you know, I'm not, we're not going to have an answer right now, but mm. that's the stuff that really gets me thinking and mm. going. It's like, I don't want to be the kind of person who is just passive in life. And I don't want to be the kind of person who the world just happens to, you know, yeah. Yeah. like, life is too short to not try to make a difference, to not try to make the world a better place, to not try to influence your community for the better. Like, Mm -hmm. um, and so if I were to try to answer my own question, I would say it's finding that balance and telling the stories in a humble way Mm -hmm. and lifting up the things that other people are doing. And, um, hopefully I think if, if I think the highest calling right now, the best thing that you could do is humanize someone in the eyes of someone who disagrees with them and create a context for more empathy and more humility. Mm, that's good. Um, if, if, if we can find a way to do that, then that to me is a huge, a huge win. Yeah. Like, subscribe, <laughs> bell, you know. Right here, I'll point like say. Yes, slap that, subscribe, smack it, smash the subscribe. Smash that like button.